Hi guys, and welcome to the Family Fudge. Tonight I'm headed out to attempt the $5 Goodwill Challenge, so stay tuned. Okay friends, now if you've never heard of the $5 Goodwill Challenge, you should definitely check out the channel My So-Called Home, because she pretty much invented this really fun challenge. Basically, you go to the Goodwill, or a thrift store, and you try to find a home decor item that you love that's $5 or less. Now I actually did this challenge a few months ago and I failed. I did not find a home decor item and what I did find was slightly over budget. But well, that's okay, I'm gonna try again. You know, I recently took down all of my Christmas decor and so right now my house feels a little bit naked and bare, so I'd love to find a budget item to sort of decorate it up. Now since it is nighttime and it's raining, I'm not gonna do much filming outside, but if I can, I'll take you inside the store with me, and then when I get back, I'll show you what I picked up, or if I failed, I don't know, we'll see. So let's go. Now right off the bat, I was definitely drawn to these flower arrangements, only $4.99, so definitely within the budget, but I actually wouldn't use the flowers at all. I would just repaint the vases, and I think they could be really cute. I was also drawn to this candlestick. This definitely has potential and it's under the $5 budget. And check out this cookie jar, you guys. It totally looks like a San Francisco painted lady house. And I actually live pretty close to San Francisco, yet I've never been to see the painted ladies. Check out these candle holders, you guys. These are very interesting. Definitely not my style, but they're only $3.99. I'm noticing a lot of lighthouses today at the Goodwill, but not much else. The shelves were kind of bare. This vase was really nice. I actually have some candlesticks that kind of look just like this, so they would definitely go together, but it was $9.99, so definitely over the budget. And check out these, you guys. I really am a big fan of milk glass. Although I'm not really quite sure how to tell whether it's a real milk glass or not, I just really like the plain white color. It's nice and crisp. Definitely under the budget. Now this is really nice as well. I like kitchen items, but I'm supposed to be picking a home decor item, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on the shelf. Check out this huge piece of pottery, you guys. $5.99, definitely not my style, but my husband's actually a potter and it looks like something he would have made. I tell you, you guys, I can't get away from the kitchen items. They're definitely my favorite. I like these canisters, but I think I would like them better if they were white instead of black. This was really cool. It's like a huge mason jar and you could definitely use this to put your utensils and your cooking items in there. But again, I'm not really loving the green it would definitely go better with my kitchen if it was white. Now here's something my daughter would love. It's a mini windowsill garden. It was only $3.99, but it was empty. I don't know what happened, but it, the box was empty, so I couldn't buy it. Check out this mug, you guys. It says cranky. My husband would say that could be my mug. And on some days, he would be right. Now this interesting looking candy dish was definitely catching my eye as well. Not that I really wanted it for my house, but it just reminded me of my great aunt Gladys, like something she had at her house when I was a kid. And I definitely would have found some hard candies in there. Check out these rugs, you guys. These were brand new from Target, never been used, really good condition. And a lot of people in the store were actually stopping to look at these. They were still kind of pricey though, definitely over the $5 budget. And check out these chairs, two of them, and they are in the rose gold color. I know some people love rose gold and some people don't get it. I personally love it, but definitely over the budget. Let me know in the comments down below if you like rose gold or if you don't. I found a Harry Potter shirt, not a home decor item at all, but I still like it. Okay guys, I just got back home and let me just say this time I did not fail. I found some items less than $5, $3.99 to be exact. And you're probably wondering what the heck is this? Well, it's kind of hard to show you because of the glare, but I have a set of one, two, three, four, five, six circle mirrors, just like that. 
If I tilt it anymore, you'll totally see the camera reflecting, but this was, like I said, $3.99 for all of these mirrors. And I'm actually working on a little boy's room makeover soon, and it's going to be a Mickey Mouse theme. So when I see all of these round circles, I think hidden Mickey. So that's exactly what I plan on doing with these. They're gonna go in the boys' room as Mickey Mouse decor. Okay guys, so I cut the tape off of the mirrors and I went ahead and flipped them upside down so you could really see. But it's so funny that I found these today because this book actually came in the mail today as well. So I totally had Mickey on the brain. So this actually comes with enough to make this hidden Mickey one and this hidden Mickey as well. So I'll definitely have to clean these up. They're kind of dusty and they could definitely use some glass cleaner, but I think it's a really good deal for $3.99. Okay guys, thank you so much for joining me for this really fun challenge today. Now if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're not already. Also, if you'd like to see even more $5 Goodwill Challenge videos, go check out the channel, My So-Called Home. I'll link it down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.